Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So today we're gonna do as usual our Bitcoin TA and we're also gonna compare the DXY to the Bitcoin price. But first, before we start, as usual, please moon up the likes here, subscribe to the channel, and also don't forget to participate on our $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway that we do every week. The subscription video is popping up at the end of this video. And also, if you need any kind of trading exchange like you will see here in the video, for example, over on Bybit, Femex, or Bityard, then make sure to use the links that you find down below here in the video description if you want to sign up to one of these exchanges. With my links, you support the channel and also you will get some rewards up to $538 if you're using my link and also if you want to have access to my own indicator where you can get some buy and sell signals on Bitcoin compared to the DXY, then make sure to contact me over on Discord. And you can also join our free Discord trading chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome. So let's start now with the one hour time frame here on the Bitcoin price because currently we are just seeing the price again moving sideways. There is not much going on. Also, I still don't have any buy or sell signals right now. And that's why also I'm not in a trade currently. But in the one hour, you can see that already here we are getting in between all the moving averages. So we will see a breakout pretty soon. And today is Friday. So most of the times right before the weekend, we always see a big move in the Bitcoin price or at least a couple of hundreds of dollars. So let's see if today also we're going to see a possible push to the upside or to the downside. In my opinion, based here in the one hour time frame, it looks like that we could be gearing up here for another leg to the upside, maybe a short lift one, we don't know yet, but at least right now it looks like that we're gearing up here for a possible move to the upside compared here also to this channel that we had here and the breakout to the upside. Currently we are testing the previous resistance which right now should be acting as a support and currently Bitcoin is respecting the support here at $10,200. As long as we're trading above this red line here, I think there is a high chance that we could see another push to the upside. But as soon as we are going to lose $10,200, then prepare to go and test here this uh, area at around $9,500. This is, I think, the next level here to watch in case of a break to the downside. Also to close the big CME gap that we have at these levels and uh, this one that we had here at $10,600, the recent one here, it seems that this gap is already closed by this uh, week that we had uh, yesterday. So in my opinion, this gap is already filled and we just have this one left here down to $9,600 here on the CME chart because here they have a premium. So that means here on the spot market, the price should go lower than that. And in that case, my target is to reach here this uh, support area down here at around $9,400 to $9,500. And if we go over to the Bollinger Band, also here you can see that we're still trading sideways here, more or less here in the middle line of the Bollinger Band here, $10,300. We have stochastic shifted to the upside, which is good, but could get into overbought condition pretty soon. KST and MACD are shifted to the downside, but in case that we are able to push again towards the top here of $10,400, I think here maybe we could get a possible bullish cross, which could indicate that we're gonna see continuation to the upside here in the next couple of hours. And if we go to the DXY here, you can see that after I got here a buy signal here at the 200 moving average in one hour, we had a nice push to the upside, but currently we're getting again rejected. And my target is again here to test it once more the 200 moving average before maybe we're gearing up for another move to the upside or maybe we're gonna crash further down here in the DXY because here we are still in this downwards moving channel and we are right at the top here so there is a high chance that maybe we're gonna see continuation here to the downside in the DXY and this would mean also that on the Bitcoin price we will see some more continuation to the upside and now let's go back to the Bitcoin chart and open up the four hour time frame because here, as you can see, we're trading right at the 20 and 50 moving average. So also here, we're gonna see a possible big move to the upside or downside coming up pretty soon. I got here a sell signal, so in my opinion, here for the four hour time frames, it looks a bit more bearish. We are also right at the 15, the RSI. If we're gonna have a push to the upside and watch out for the 200 moving average here at 11,330, this is at least where I think we could be topping out in case of a possible push here higher. But it looks like that maybe we are in here for another leg to the downside, potentially to retest also 
this uh, strong support that we have here at 9400 because this red trend line was before a huge resistance which came from the $20,000 top and right now it should be acting as a support. I still think there's a high chance that we could drop even lower towards $9,100, maybe even lower in the worst case, but this support line here should be at least be a bounce area for Bitcoin in case that we're gonna see here a breakout to the downside. And if we go over into the Bollinger Band, you can see that here we are trading in the top area. So in theory, we are trading on the bullish side. So there is a high chance that we could even go up here again towards $10,400 to possibly test and also break it to the upside. But in case that we're getting rejected here again at $10,300, then prepare here also to see again 10K. This is the bottom here of the Bollinger Band. We also have stochastic shifted to the downside, which could indicate that we're gonna see here a possible correction to the downside if we are not able uh, to push through $10,400. KST and MACD are still shifted to the upside which is very good and this indicates that we could see continuation to the upside but if here we are going to have a bearish cross in both the MACD and KSD then prepare for a major correction towards $9,500. Maybe at 10k we're gonna see again a little bit of support but I think if we're getting rejected again here at $10,300 it is very likely that we are going to see these levels down here at $9,400 to $9,500. And let's open up also the DXY now here in the four hour because here currently we are trading above the 200 moving average, which is actually good here for the DXY. The problem is also that we are dropping again below the 50 in the RSI. This could indicate that we're gonna see here continuation to the downside, which is bullish for Bitcoin. But if we're gonna have a bounce here at $93 here on the 200 moving average, and we're going to fight again here this possible resistance here at 93.50, then this could lead in a W formation here in the DXY and a possible breakout to the upside which could be very bearish for the bitcoin price and also for most of the stocks so i'm still pretty confident that here on the dxy we will see sooner or later a big spike to the upside which could lead into a bigger correction in the bitcoin price but so far the dxy is still trading in this channel and as long as we are not seeing a breakout to the upside or downside we are going to bounce here up and down from these two trend lines and now let's go back to the daily time frame here in the Bitstamp chart because here you can also see that we are still trading below the 20 and 50 daily moving average. The 20 here is where I think we could be topping out here in case of a push to the upside. It's right here at 10,800. So maybe we are going to see a possible week or a test here to the 20 daily moving average and maybe also have a week towards the 50 at $11,200. That is possible because I got here a buy signal and also we're still very oversold here in the RSI. You can also see here that the 200 daily moving average is right here at $9,100. This is my worst case scenario if the $9,500 is not holding and if we're gonna have a close below the 200 daily moving average, then prepare to most likely have a bigger correction down to the 0.618 FIB line here at $7,200. This is the Fibonacci retracement based on the bottom that we had here at $3,800 and the top at $12,500. These are my targets and also where I'm going to buy as much Bitcoin as I can. And now let's have a look also into the Bollinger Band in the daily because here we're still trading on the bearish side. Currently we're getting rejected here from the first moving average. If we are able to push through, then watch out here for the midline at $11,000. As I told you, 11,000 is most likely the key level if we are going to see continuation also to the upside if you're able to break 11K or if you're getting rejected here, a possible continuation to the downside. KST MACD is still bearish. So here in the daily didn't change much here, even though we had here this nice consolidation right now, but we are just chopping around here between 10K and 10,000. $500 so currently I just don't see any bigger signs why we should go again here towards 12,500 and higher especially as long as we're trading below 10,500 and 11,000 dollar but if here we're gonna have a bullish cross in the MACD and KSD then this could change many things stochastic is now shifted to the upside but also here we can stay in this region for a very long time before uh, we could see a bigger bounce to the upside and if we open up here the DXY in the daily you can see that currently we are still trading above the 20 daily moving average which is in theory very good for the DXY but bearish for the Bitcoin price or is right at the 50 I got here a buy signal when we bottomed out here at 92 
dollars more or less and since then we had a nice uh, bounce to the upside straight to the resistance up here and if you're able to keep up here with the 20 daily moving average and push higher and also break out to the upside then my targets are here between the 50 daily moving average at 94 dollars and the 200 daily moving average here up at 97.30 if this happens we're gonna see a big correction in the bitcoin and stock market prices and when i say bitcoin price i also mean the altcoins of course because if bitcoin is pumping or dumping the altcoins gonna perform way better or worse so that means if bitcoin is dumping in altcoins we're gonna see even more dumps than on bitcoin that's why usually if you just hold bitcoin you will be doing fine for the future because there even though bitcoin is very volatile the altcoins are way way more volatile so they are very bad when you're holding them when we're going down but very good when we're going up and now let's go back to the Bitcoin chart and open up the weekly time frame. Because here in the weekly, the good thing is that we are still trading above the 20 weekly moving average. This is what we want to see in a, during a bull run. Uh, the problem is that we even could go down to the 50 or 200 moving average for the worst case if we have a big correction the 200 weekly moving average is down here at six thousand six hundred dollar but i think the time that we will need maybe to correct that far probably this moving average will be towards here that 0.618 fib line at seven thousand two hundred dollar so i think if we're having a bigger correction watch out for the seven thousand two hundred dollar level i got here a sell signal in my own indicator this is also why i was bearish when we were topping out here at twelve thousand five hundred dollar i told you that most likely we're going to see a possible correction down to this area and hopefully also bounce from it and don't go lower but i think at these stages here even though we could see a possible bounce here to the upside i think it's almost guaranteed that at least we will go down to close the cme gap at nine thousand five hundred dollar but maybe even have some wicks below important is that we are not going to close weekly candles below the 20 weekly moving average or even worse below the 50 so below this nine thousand dollar area because in that case we could be in for a major correction towards the 200 weekly moving average but this is really the worst case scenario and i don't think that we have to go necessarily so low even though i got here a sell signal but i think this is already playing out here so it doesn't mean that we have to go that low and if we go over to the dxy here you see we got the opposite we got the buy signal and currently we are just seeing here the beginning here of the rise of the dxy in my opinion so there is still a high chance that we could go towards this 95 dollar level which is also the 20 weekly moving average here in the dxy and since also the rsi was very oversold here i think there is a high chance that we could see continuation here to the upside maybe even till the 50 level in the rsi before we're gonna continue to crash here in the dxy that's why i think if the dxy is going to push here harder to the upside in the next couple of days and maybe weeks then watch out for some more bearish action in the stock market and bitcoin price at least for the short to mid term not for the long term because for the long term dxy in my opinion will have a big crash to the downside if we zoom out you can also see that we are still very bearish even though we could go up to test this region up here but overall we will remain bearish here on the dxy and it's just a matter where we're gonna top out and continue here the dump and as soon as dxy is gonna top out if we're having here a run to the upside then this will be probably the beginning of a huge big bull run in the stock market and also in the bitcoin price all right guys and with that said they're gonna wrap it up for now thank you very much for all your support and your likes my friends very much appreciated and feel free also to join my discord and twitch channel you find all the links down below here if you need to open up any kind of account on binance coinbase and so on you find all the links down below here in the video description to also get some sign up bonus so free money that you can also use to trade or just keep it there in the exchange or withdraw you can do whatever you want especially the ones on binance and coinbase so feel free to use the links that you find down below here even if you want to mine some bitcoin i use the kudo miner so if you're interested in mining some bitcoin as well while you're working anyway on your computer you find the download code for the kudo miner down below here so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one Bye.